Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. Most of you already know that I do quite a number of videos on Airbnb hosting. In today's video, while I'm still going to be talking about Airbnb as a whole, I'm actually not going to be talking about the hosting side of things and I'm going to flip it up and share with you my knowledge on the Airbnb guest side of things. I have quite a number of years of being an Airbnb host and also as a guest. So it might be a surprise to you that for today's video, what I'll be covering would be my recommendation on who should not use Airbnb. And no, this is not a retaliation of any sort. I really wanted to make this video because I've seen through the years that there are really some guests that may be not fitting for Airbnb. Not so much because I do not want to host them. I'm open for everyone. But as we know that Airbnb is an alternative means to travel, I can honestly say that unfortunately, it's not for everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three types of guests that I feel like really should just use a hotel rather than an Airbnb. So without further ado, are you curious who are these three types of guests that I'm talking about? Let's go! So the first on this list, which I recommend that should just use hotels rather than Airbnbs, would be senior citizens. Hold on, hold on. Please don't get mad at me. I'm not an ageist. What I mean here specifically would be instances wherein seniors get booked by their child, but their son or daughter don't accompany them. Unaccompanied seniors have a more challenging time at an Airbnb versus a hotel. I have to admit, I am also guilty of this. When Airbnb was new, I booked my mom at a place in Singapore. Uh, I was telling her how great this new app was and it's a new value proposition. So when I booked my mom, she was probably in her late 60s or even 70s. My mom had a hard time looking for her unit at Singapore because I think the numbering of the apartments can be confusing. It took her a while to find her apartment. And that's what I'm talking about. It becomes quite a challenging experience. And more than just finding the apartment, the actual stay in a person's home also gets very challenging for a senior because it doesn't have the bells and whistles of a hotel. Hosts aren't there to assist the seniors for whatever they may need, like myself, I actually don't live near my Airbnb. So things are not uniform. The types of locks, you know, you might be working with a lockbox, a digital box, and these are all different. These vary from one Airbnb to another. Perhaps how to use the TV, how to switch from cable TV to a smart TV to use Netflix, from how to use the shower and how to use the air conditioning. I'm not saying that seniors aren't able to do this. Of course they can. But what I'm saying is that when seniors are unaccompanied, it becomes a very hard time for them because there is the higher chance that they may not be able to work out the locks or any of these appliances. And like I said, there is no front desk, no concierge. Yes, condo units have security, probably a front desk staff, but it just doesn't compare to the hospitality staff that hotels would have. So if you're like me and you're trying to give your parents perhaps a vacation or perhaps they need to be somewhere for a medical checkup or something, I would truly advise not to book them via Airbnb if you are not coming with them. Moving on to number two, and this is related to the lack of trained staff that may be able to assist these types of guests. The second type of guest that I recommend to stay just in a hotel rather than an Airbnb would be guests that perhaps only speak their native tongue or maybe they have a very hard time speaking or communicating even the basics of a foreign language. So again, this is not to shun out people. I don't want you guys to get mad at me. With the lack of a front desk, it does get quite challenging for the guests to have a good stay because there are really a lot of things that are lost in translation. So as mentioned, I work with a lockbox. There are times that Google Translate just can't cut it. I mean, some things are very procedural. There are these nuances in our languages that tend to get misunderstood. The guest just has a frustrating time because you're trying to feel out one another. So I'm not saying that only those can perfectly speak the local or English language should be staying at an Airbnb. But if you know for yourself that you may struggle in communicating with the Airbnb host, 
and you may miss a few things such as the check-in instructions, the procedures, then I would also recommend you to stay in a hotel because in a hotel, we know that they are properly trained. Some of them might even know a foreign language. They might know your local language. And lastly, let's move to number three. The third type of guests would be those that are really needing everything to work perfectly. And I'm not trying to make an excuse here. I know as an Airbnb host, we also need our place to work perfectly. What I'm saying here is that if you are a traveler, perhaps on business, or perhaps you are on a short vacation and you just need everything to work perfectly like a well-oiled machine, I would recommend for you to stay in a hotel because in a hotel, if something breaks down, they probably have another room available for you to use. I'm sorry for any guests that I've hosted and had gone through this bad experience, Perhaps the air conditioning broke down. Perhaps the internet broke down. Perhaps something went wrong with the toilet, the water heater, the TV, the microwave, and so on and so forth. Again, the beauty of hotels is that they are properly trained, they are on site, and they have people who may fix this right away or again, bring you to another hotel room. As an Airbnb host, we don't have that type of bandwidth, the operational luxury to just be there and to have staff on call. Perhaps you are a business traveler that really just needs his internet to be on full speed all the time. And let's say the internet connection goes down. For a hotel, they would have a corporate plan, perhaps a subscription that is really huge and they have a dedicated account manager from the side of the telco company. They get a lot of priority. While us Airbnb hosts, we really just have our one subscription plan. We don't have the kind of leverage or the negotiating power. If they need to fix it on site, it's really gonna take a day or even two days. So I'm not trying to make this as an excuse, but if you are a guest that has a need for things to work perfectly during their stay, I would recommend you to stay in a hotel because in a hotel, they have redundancies they are prepared to manage whatever disaster or things going on that have just been unforeseen. So those are the three types of guests that I think are really just better off staying in a hotel. Again, I'm sorry if I've offended anyone, but I've tried to present this in the most careful way that I could. I've actually been thinking about this for a while now, um, but if I did still become offensive or think that I'm shunning you, then I'm sorry. Again, what I'm really after would be a great experience for the guests as well. You deserve to know what are the limitations and what are the best scenario where you are more comfortable. Again, it might sound ironic coming from me as I do need to get guests. I also have some of you now who I've met and have become my partners in running Airbnbs. So again, this video was really made with your comfort in mind and for you to have the best experience. If you have a property and you want to partner up, you want to make it an Airbnb but don't have the time, then please feel free to visit this link and you can also visit the link down below. If I've missed any type of guests that you also feel are better off in a hotel, let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy Airbnb.